for the working thesis and work cited, the first thing you want to do, of course, is the research. Um, you might, you can start with your research on resilience if you want to watch several of these. That might be the best thing to do. So your um, research can come from these TED Talks. You only need three, but I recommend watching it until you find some that you think will say something that you can use um, when you are ready to look at your poem. Um, so start looking at the poems as you are thinking about what your experts are saying about resilience and read them. Um, and then find the one that you think you can connect ideas from current experts on resilience to um, something the poet says. So I'm going to look at this one. And I'm going to show you how, if I were to choose this one, how I would do the work cited for it. And it's this easy. I would copy it and paste it into my work cited. So let me, let me choose one that doesn't start with A so I can show you how to put your things in alphabetical order later. So I'm going to choose the, this one. If by Rudyard Kipling. Very, another good one. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. Control C to copy and to paste Control V. Now, um, it kept my italics. Good. I have italics for the container of the poem. This poem, if, goes in quotation marks, it is contained in the website Poetry Foundation. So the title that comes after the title in quotation marks is most likely to be the container. So you need to put the container title in italics. Notice uh, it did not keep my font or my spacing. So I can just highlight or I could hit control, hold down control and hit A and it will take care of all of everything, all the formatting, highlighting, whatever it wants. Uh-oh, what happened there? I do not know why that's not letting that stay on the same line, so I'm just going to manually retype it. And I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm going to try to... Oh my goodness, don't you love it? Look, my favorite button, undo. Hit the undo button, it's my favorite button. Um... I'm going to spacebar that. Hitting the spacebar may have worked. Maybe it was a spacebar issue. Sometimes you have to play with formatting. Now, I want a hanging indent. I click the More Options button up here, the three dots. Hit Special Indent and Hanging, and it worked. Hallelujah. Sometimes you have to play with things like that. All right, I need three. This is my primary source. Primary source is the source you are analyzing that you're writing about. That's the poem, primary source. I will go back and put primary source in here for you too. The secondary sources are about resilience. If you look, you will notice I have also done the work cited for those. Notice this says work cited because there is only one work listed. This says works plural cited because I'm going to cite several sources. I'm going to have four one primary and three secondary sources. I'm going to do the old control C to copy and I'm going to paste. Another way you can paste is just with control shift V. So if you're getting some funny colors and things, try that. Now when you hit control shift V, look, wonderfully it kept my spacing. It kept my hanging indent. That was nice. Maybe it'll do that for you too. What it did not keep is the italics for the container title. So go back and put that in italics. So the title of the um, video is here in quotation marks. Remember I said the thing after quotation marks is the container. So YouTube is the container. It is the website that contains this video. All right. Notice though that H comes before K. So I should put this one. I'm going to highlight it, Control-X to cut it, which is a little scary. 
So I always think I might not see it again, but I could hit the undo and it would come back. Then control V to paste it so that it is ahead of the letter K. H comes before K. So it doesn't matter if it, the first thing in the works cited is a title or an author. So whatever letter comes first in the alphabet, that's how you put it in the right order. Um, this did not have an author. Most of your videos will not have an author listed. So they don't have a last name, comma, first name like your poem will. Also, when you write about the poem or when you write about the author, you either give the author's full name. So I would always say Rudyard Kipling. Uh, Rudyard is his first name. If you are looking for a good thing to name a kid, Rudyard, consider it. Um, Kipling is Rudyard's last name. So I would say Kipling implies or Kipling suggests or Kipling writes even to introduce a quotation or Rudyard Kipling writes, but I would never just call a poet by his or her first name. That's not appropriate for, um, for academic writing. All right, I'm choosing this um, source as well. W comes after K. So I'm going to, I'm going to do the hit enter one time, control shift V again, because uh, that seemed to work well. I like only having to put italics for my um, container. I'll do it the way I did the first time again for the next one. We'll see how it does. All right, let's see. We'll try this one. My philosophy for a happy life. Um, M comes between K and W. So I'm going to just hit control V with my cursor right there. Oh, look what it did. It didn't keep my spacing or anything. And then it messed this up. What do I do? Well, let's watch. So I can hit control A and highlight everything. And then like I did before, go back and fix everything into times new Roman 12 point. And my spacing should all be two. That fixed that. And I want a hanging indent, not for everything, just for my sources. Let me show you a trick for fixing the hanging indent. If you already have one established, you can backspace this source to the line before and you think, well, that made it worse. But then when you hit enter, since the um, hanging indent has been established up here, um, then it keeps it there. Same thing here. Now, I don't want my one of my sources to be way over, so I hit backspace and it fixed it right away. If it didn't fix it, I would just backspace it to the line before and then hit enter. Ooh, and when I did that, oh my goodness, what happens if this happens? Um, when you have the display as Dropbox, you can just hit hyperlink. Okay, um, so if that happens to you, don't panic, just do that. All right, so that's my uh, working thesis is just a template that you're welcome to use. So um, the work cited, you can see how to do just using the sources I have offered you. Um, I will show another, another source option if you would like, uh, but first let's address the working thesis. Um, so with references to, and each poem will refer to something different, but you don't have to configure your working thesis this way. Um, remember, I have said that your thesis will be an answer to a question. Um, your thesis is never a question. It is always an answer to a question. So you can ask yourself, um, and here's my, I don't want to put it as a working thesis spot, but ask yourself, oh goodness, see, sometimes these things do that. I'm going to backspace and get rid of that. Stop. That's what I get for trying to do a new thing. Okay, so I just arrowed down to get a new space to write. Um, what does the poet or what does the poem um, tell readers about the impact or importance of resilience? And if you can answer that question, that could be a great working thesis, okay? It's another way of saying what is the message, which is kind of what this does. 
Okay, and so here you will write the overall message you get from the poem about resilience. Easy enough, but you could think of it, the whole thing, if this fill in the blank blows your mind, you don't like it, it's keeping you from being able to say anything meaningful about the poem, see if you can just answer this question. All right, um, blah, 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 blah. oh yeah, I was going to show you another option for a source. So, um, Google Scholar, that's why it says Scholar here. If you type in Google Scholar, you can find some good academic level sources. Um, the problem is only the ones that have the things attached here um, really have a an actual article that you can read the full article attached. I don't want you to get um, quotations from just something that's just a snippet of an article. I want you to have really read about resilience. Um, so make sure that you you do that. Um, so let me look. I like looking not at the first page for everything. So here's a good edu. If you have an edu source dot edu, that's generally a good indication that you have a good source on your hands. So here is um, a good source on resilience. Now, how do I do the work cited for that as easily and painlessly as possible? Well, you see this thing that says cite, but um, all of these parts or some of these parts are right. What's wrong with this is that all the major words of the title are not capitalized. That's not good. Um, and you will never see in MLA format uh, a year in parentheses. So this is wrong. So how do I fix it? Well, I can use the SAM student handout and just follow the rules for how to do a work cited for the uh, journal article, which is last name, comma, first name of the first author. If there's only one author, then you can just do last name, comma, first name, initial if that's available. And then whatever other authors you have go in the normal order for a name, first and last name. Then the title of the article goes in quotation marks. You should have capitalized all the major words of the title. Then the title of the journal or container, the thing that contained that article goes in italics. Capitalize all those major words. Then put a comma after that and it, the year by itself. And then comma and then PP, lowercase PP for the page numbers of that. But I think we have an even better way. I like using EasyBib. So let's see if I can copy. It would be nice if I could just copy the title of this. Where was that? I'm just going to copy the title of this because I'm lazy. I'm going to control C, copy it. I'm going to go to the citation generator EasyBib. This is not the page I want. Go to this three line thing. It's called a hamburger to find the page you want, which is citations. Go to, oh, it should be journal actually, but generally I do website. Let's do journal and see how it works. Search by title. I just copied that title. I'm going to search. All right. That looks like it. Let's do it. Click site and continue. And it look, it's got all those authors. Yes. Thank you, EasyBib. Complete citation. Now it's going to ask you if you want to pay for it. Do not. Watch a sponsored message. It'll be 30 seconds. I'll pause. After I watched that message, I got my citation. Look how it capitalized all the major words of the title in all the titles. It did PP just like I said. Oh my goodness, just like I said. And it gives a date of origin So because it's an online version. So you can hit copy citation. And Y comes after W, so I can just paste it over here on the right. I'm going to hit, I'm just going to hit Control V and see if it, so it pasted this way. Almost right, just need to fix the spacing. So I'll fix the spacing. I can just highlight this and go back to my spacing. Hit double. Oh, what happened to my highlighting? Um, go to line spacing, two, and it fixed it. Yay! Don't leave anything after this. Just all your sources alphabetical order.